experience usually helps out teams a lot, right, this time yeah. of year. Northwestern has zero experience <laughs> in the NCAA tournament, playing their first tournament game against Vanderbilt. How do you think this team, how do you think the dance and the lanes are going to fare? <laughs> you don't know what you don't know, right? I think that's what Northwestern is going in there with. I hope, and you'll see very early on, has the pressure got to Northwestern? Do they feel the weight of the sports world on their shoulders to make history again and win a game? I look at what Northwestern had to do down the stretch, and they didn't pull a Northwestern. They didn't choke down the, down the line when it came down to getting a win to get in this tournament. They played some of their best basketball. I do believe this Vanderbilt matchup is a good one for them. I think they have true talent. I think they have big time players that make big time plays. I think Northwestern is gonna advance at least through this game. Now when they face Gonzaga, it'll be a different story. But the fact that Northwestern A is in the tournament, B is gonna get a tournament win, build a statue for Chris Collins. We can no longer worry about those old days when losers like Tim Doyle were putting on a uniform. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you Did cannot let Northwestern put the emphasis on losers, right? Yeah. Losers to okay. <laughs> You cannot Woo! let Northwestern go farther in this tournament than Notre Dame, right? Oh, there's, there's no way. I mean, our friendship's holding on by this much right now. <laughs> that will be the, the straw that breaks the camel's back if Northwestern advances further. Mm. The guy's already got the loudest mouth in Chicago. If that happens. <laughs> I won't be able to be in the same room, let alone work with him. Yeah. So we'll have to talk yeah. about some things. <laughs>